Hello, boys and girls. So it is Miss Bauer here in second grade in room 17. And today we are going to be reading one of my favorite books. It is called The Snowy Day. And I would say two years ago, so now my little fourth graders, if you remember, I had a uh, my door, I always decorate my door, and my door looked just like this. I drew, or I had a picture of Peter, and he was walking in the snow on my door for Christmas. So, uh, as you can tell, I really love the snowy day. And of course, this book actually won a medal. So, if you can see it, it is called the Caldecott Medal. And what the Caldecott Medal means is that the beautiful illustration, the pictures actually won an award. Um, so people voted and they voted for the snowy day to win the Caldecott Award, which is the award for the best illustration um, because the pictures are just so gorgeous, so beautiful. And I will even show you the back, the back. Look at this beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those beautiful colors, snowflakes. So let's go ahead and read The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. So there's Peter. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Look at all the gorgeous snow. Look at all the beautiful colors. Have you ever seen snow like that before? I don't know if I have, but it is really pretty. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like this. Have you ever done that with the snow before? You could see your, your footprints and sometimes if you have little designs on the bottom of your boot, sometimes you can see the design in the snow too, which is kind of neat. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. You guys see the new track? It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. So let's, let's make some predictions right now. What do you think is gonna happen when he's hitting that tree with that stick? Have you ever done that before? When you hit a tree with a stick, what happens to the snow? Down fell the snow. Plop on top of Peter's head. That happened to me too many times when I was a kid. I had lots of trees in my backyard and the snow always fell on my head and it would get in my neck. I'd get cold. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He, oh, I've got to show you the picture of the beautiful snow angels he made. Have you ever done this on a snow day before? If not, I hope you guys will be able to do one. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. 
He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. So there's his mama. We finally get to meet his mama. He thought and thought and thought about them. So he's thinking about his adventures he had today. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. You guys remember the snowball that he put in his pocket? Where do you think the snowball went? He went inside, right? What happened to the snowball? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. And of course, here's the back page. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the snowy day.